Test, test, test. Okay, can everybody hear me? Please indicate so over in the chat box area. Can everybody hear me? Please indicate in the chat box. Hey, yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> And we're going to skip two weeks after this week. Since we'll be on New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve. Okay, three can hear. How about everybody else? Can you hear? Yep, four can hear. That's good. Five. Okay, very good. Okay, we got a really in-depth class this time. Probably won't get through all of it, but all the notes will be available for you. So, you can have access to the notes. Um, you know, just request it afterwards and that's fine. I'll just put up here you can of course request it on the zoom but dr drbbrk at hotmail.com if you ever want to call me 469-995-9907 there's my phone number okay we're going to go into it here. Let's see if this is it. Nope, not that one. Sorry. Sorry, it's taken me a minute here. I thought I had everything up. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, is this it? There we go. Okay. Take that one down. All right. Uh,
There it is. Chat box that it's hiding. All right. Okay, NIOSH Packet Guide to Chemical Hazards. You can go online and get that. Uh, you see that cdc.gov-niosh, etc. You can just put put that in there. NIOSH po Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards, and you can bring it up and get it. Uh, but I can also send you a copy of it because I downloaded it. Either way. So. This is a very interesting document. It's really long. It's about 450 pages long. Not all of it uh, is of interest, but we're going to go to the interesting parts. Have a bit of a discussion on them. Now, here, here at the top, you, you have a bunch of abbreviations in there. And so at the top in table five, you have the key to, to the abbreviation. So you can go to the top, top of the document for that. Okay. Acetaldehyde. That's an interesting chemical. Uh, just asking, does anybody recognize that chemical? Because we've talked about it before in class. Does anybody recognize that chemical acetaldehyde. Okay, yes. We got one yes in there. Two yes. Three yes. That's good. It is the metabolic poison put out by Candida, an opportunistic pathogen to make you weak. Okay? Now, look at the uh, what the symptoms are here. When you have that, irritation of the eye, nose, throat, eye and skin burns, derm dermatitis, conjunctivitis, cough, CNS depression, delayed pulmonary edema, in animals, kidney reproductive, teratogenic effects, Affects the eye, skin, respiratory system, kidney, CNS, reproductive system, etc. So I, I particularly believe that a lot of what's attributed to candida is actually a reaction to the metabolic poison that it puts out. Okay. Acetic acid. Does anybody recognize that? Acetic acid. Okay, somebody says yes. Just one person? Okay, David Donaldson, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's out of uh, vinegar. Okay, matter of fact, the word acetic means uh, vinegar in the original language. Irritation to eyes, skin, nose, throat. Eye and skin burn, skin sensitivity, dental erosion, blackened skin, hyperkeratosis, keratosis, conjunctivitis, lacrimal gland, gland problems, uh, edema, chronic bronchitis. Yeah, that's from overtaking uh, vinegar. How about that? That's kind of surprising, right? I thought that was... Something that could only help you and never hurt you. Uh, but it turns out that's not true at all. So we're going to go on to different here. And it's also used in, uh, which this is off screen here, various dye stuffs and perfumes. So it's found in perfumes, rayon fiber. Text synthetic, synthetic, synthetic tech fibers and textiles, inks and dyes, soft drink bottles, it's used to make rubbers and plastics, pesticides, wood glues. Okay, so it's a whole lot more than uh, you know than what we would think. All right, now we're going to acetone. 
acetone, we have irritation of eye, nose, throat, head, dizziness, CNS, depression, dermatitis. Uh, and that's found in, uh, you know, just a lot of different things all over the place. Now we're going to go to okay acetylene. You probably realize that's in, used in welding, acetylene torches. Acetyl salicylic acid, aspirin, irritation of the eye, skin, upper respiratory system, increases blood clotting time, nausea, vomiting, liver and kidney injury. Okay. Now the next one, acrolein. We've used that before. How many? Yeah, nail polish remover. Very good. Skipped over that. Thank you, Dr. Donaldson. Okay, acrolein. How many of you recognize that one? So we talked about that once before. Okay, that's from burned fats. So anytime you you do well done steaks. Okay, well done steaks, grilled steaks, burnt, burnt bread, let's say you toast that bread too much, uh, that burnt smell is acrolein. What does that do? Irritates the eyes, skin, mucous membranes, decreased pulmonary function, delayed pulmonary, pulmonary edema, chronic respiratory disease. Yep, that's for eating all those... Uh, well done and kind of charred type of foods because of what you do to the oils. Acrylamide. And this is found in the paper and pulp construction, foundry oil drilling, textiles, cosmetics. So it's in cosmetics, food pr processing, plastics, used in making paper dyes, plastics, treating wastewater. Look at this. Irritation of the eyes, skin, ataxia, numb limbs. Numb limbs from cosmetics. Oh my gosh. Paresthesias, muscular weakness, absent deep tendon reflex, sweaty hands, lassitude, drowsiness, reproductive effects. It's a carcinogen. Wow, look at all that. This is used in cosmetics. Acrylamide. Now we're going to go down to of course any of these you can go back to. I'm just highlighting some that I think would be interest. Aluminum corrodes in contact. Okay. Irritation of the eyes, skin, and respiratory system. Where do you find aluminum? Any guesses? Where do you find aluminum? Oh, we have a hand up. Yeah, yeah, underarm. Uh, antiperspirants. Exactly. What else? Y'all should know this. It's found in baking soda and baking powder. Yep, we're ingesting this stuff almost all the time. Yep. Cookware, aluminum cookware, aluminum foil, soft drink cans, beer cans. Yep. Look at all those things. They can do all of this stuff. Okay. Okay, now we're going to skip on down. Amitrol. Irritates the eyes, skin, dyspnea, muscle spasms, ataxia, anorexia, salivation, Increased body temperature, lassitude, skin dryness, depression from thyroid function suppression. Amitrol, it's an herbicide and plant growth regulator. Wow, it's been shown to cause tumors of the pituitary glands in experimental animals. Wow, okay. Here we have ammonia. What does ammonia do? Irritates the eyes, nose, throat, dyspnea, wheezing, chest pain, pulmonary edema, pink frothy sputum, skin burns, a liquid uh, frostbite. Okay, so that's that's all from ammonia. 
I'm going to skip down again here. Antimony. Antimony irritates the eyes, skin, nose, throat, mouth, cough, dizziness, headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, insomnia, anorexia, unable to smell properly and therefore taste properly. It's used in medicines and cosmetics again. Wow, you're going to see cosmetics uh, coming up a lot of times here tonight. Arsenic, ulceration of nasal, nasal septum, dermatitis, GI disturbances, peripheral neuropathy, respiratory irritation, hyperpigmentation of skin. Yeah, all that from arsenic. And that's in fertilizers, pesticides. Wow, okay. And here we have... Uh, Arsenic organic compounds, irritate skin, dermatitis, respiratory distress, diarrhea, kidney damage, muscle tremors, convulsions, possible GI tract, reproductive effects, liver damage. Wow, all that from stuff that's in pesticides and herbicides to a large extent. And now we're going to skip down again. Asbestos. Asbestosis. See a lot about that. Interstitial fibrosis, dyspnea, restricted pulmonary function, finger clubbing. So you p see people with finger clubbing. Uh, when you're doing your exam, you might start asking them about exposure to asbestos, irritation of the eyes, and it's carcinogenic. Asphalt fumes. Ever think of that? They repair the streets. What do you get out of that? Irritated eyes, respiratory system, and carcinogenic. Atrazine, which is a uh, broadleaf weeds and uh, maize, sugar cane, used on golf courses. Those of you golfers out there are walking in the stuff. Residential lawns, you walk in your lawns, you're getting it. Irritates the eyes, skin, dermatitis, skin sensitivity, dyspnea, lassitude, incoherence, salivation. So dripping saliva coming out of your throat, liver injury, injury hyperthermia, atrazine. Okay, now we're going to skip down here. Benamil. Irritates the eyes, skin, upper respiratory system, skin, sensations off, possible reproductive and teratogenic effects. Uh, it's a fungicide, Benamil, especially earthworms, okay? But those are the effects on humans. Benzene irritates the eyes, skin, nose, respiratory system. Dizziness, headaches, nausea, staggered gait, anorexia, lassitude, dermatitis, bone marrow, depression, uh, carcinogenesis, bone marrow depression, so trouble making red blood cells, white blood cells. Benzene is found in printing and painting, cleaning and maintaining printing equipment. ink in printing contains benzene, a lot of it. Okay, benzidine, hematoma, secondary anemia from hemolysis, acute cystitis, acute liver disorders, dermatitis, painful irregular urination, uh, carcinogen, and it's used in the uh, production of benzene linked to bladder and pancreatic cancer. Benzoyl peroxide. I bet a bunch of you remember that one. Benzoyl peroxide. What is that used in? I've seen that a couple of times in our class classes. Benzoyl peroxide. Uh, acne type of things. Remember the guy on the radio and TV, benzoyl peroxide? Guess what? It's also what's used to make 
uh, to bleach flour and sugar to make them white. So every time you eat white flour and white sugar, you're getting exposed to benzoyl peroxide. It irritates the eyes, skin, mucous membranes, uh, skin sensitivity. All right, next we're going to borates. Irritates the eyes, skin, upper rep respiratory system, dermatitis, uh, cough, dyspnea. What's that? Epis. Uh, that's epistaxis or no nosebleed when we see that. And cough, dyspnea, okay, all those things. Uh, used primarily as fire retardants in plastics and rubber applications. Okay, so fire retardants in plastics. Okay, now the next one. Bromacil. Irritates the eyes, skin, upper respiratory system in animals. Thyroid injury. Bromacil. Uh, it's a pesticide. Pesticide. Okay. Bromine. Dizziness. Headache. Uh, lacrimal duct problem, epistasis, nosebleeds, cough, feeling of oppression, so it causes mental issues, pulmonary edema, pneumonia, abdominal pain, diarrhea, measles like eruptions, eyes, and skin burns, and it is a pesticide. Uh, excuse me, a bleaching agent. Bromine is a bleaching agent used to disinfect water in swimming pools. It's also found in sodas and dough conditioners. Wow, sodas and dough conditioners. Okay, now we're gonna scoot down a little bit further. Again, you can have this whole thing so you can look all through these. I'm just highlighting thing that some things that uh, I think will be of special interest because of where they occur and what the effects are. Okay, butyl acrylate. Irritates the eye, skin, upper respiratory system, sensory dermatitis, dyspnea. Uh, used uh, on a large scale is a precursor to uh, paints, sealants, coatings, adhesives, fuels, textiles, and plastics, and caulk. Okay, so this is used in a number of things. Again, I'm reading something off screen, which you can have a copy of that also. You just need to ask for it. Okay, the next one will really get you. Calcium carbonate. I bet you've all seen that one before, right? Okay, where's calcium carbonate? Where most people see it. Calcium carbonate. Let's see something over here in the uh, in the box over here. Calcium carbonate. Somebody type in where you see that. Calcium carbonate. Nobody knows what that is? Calcium carbonate. Irritation of the eye, skin, respiratory system, and cough. It is calcium supplements. It's the biggest calcium supplement. Oscal, somebody puts, yep. Okay, next one. Like I said, there's some surprising ones in here. Camphor. Camphor. Irritates the eyes, skin, mucous membranes, causes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, dizziness, excitement, 
Epileptic convulsions. Epileptic convulsions. Oh my gosh. Hence from the wood of the camphor trees. Okay, and you've all seen those. Okay, what's the next one? Captan. Irritates the eyes, skin, upper respiratory system, blurred vision, dermatitis, skin sensitivity, dyspnea, diarrhea, vomiting, and it's a carcinogen. To general use fungicide. And it also makes fruits appear healthier by boosting brightness and color. So after they're picked, they put this stuff on it to make the uh, the fruits that you buy, you know, look more radiant so that you'll buy them. Wow. Carbaryl. Meiosis. Blurred vision. Tearing. Rhinitis. Salivation. Sweat. Abdominal cramps. Nausea. Vomiting. Diarrhea. Tremor. Cyanosis. Convulsions. Irritable, irritable skin. Possible reproductive effects. And what is that? It was produced, it was uh, bought by Bayer. Excuse me, uh, yeah. And it's used in pesticides and insecticides. Carboforan, meiosis, blurred vision, sweating, salivation, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, headaches, nausea, vomiting, and lassitude, muscle twitching, incoherence, convulsions. Oh my gosh. And that is pesticides. Pesticides. Under the name Furidan. And it's used on potatoes, corn, and soybeans that are inclusive in there. Carbon black. Coughing, irritation of the eyes, and presence of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons is carcinogenic. Carbon black. And uh, it's reinforcing agents in automobile tires and other rubber pro products. But it's also in black pigments, printing ink, paint, and carbon paper. So we're all being exposed to that. Carbon dioxide. Headaches, dizziness, restlessness, paresthesia, dyspnea, sweating. Uh, what's the MAL for here? Let's see what that is. M-A-L. Malaise. Okay, malaise. Uh, incremental heart rate, cardiac output, blood pressure, coma, asphyxia, convulsing, frostbites. Carbon dioxide. Now we have carbon monoxide. Headache, tapnea, nausea, lassitude, dizziness, confusion, hallucination, cyanosis, depression, segment, electrocardiogram, Angina syncope. Of course, that carbon dioxide, that last one, you get from wearing the white mask too long, right? All this mask stuff. How about that? By the way, I just got a, uh, you know, if you asked me for it, I, I was looking up stuff, and there was a uh, uh, confluence of some uh, studies on masking and they show that regular surgical and cloth masks do nothing. And that just came out, I believe, in September, and I think it's being suppressed. So cloth mask and reg regular sur surgical masks don't do anything to stop COVID. Okay, and you can ask for that if you wish. Cholinergic crisis. Okay, so what's the next one here? Catechols. Irritation of the eyes, skin, respiratory system, skin sensitivity, dermatitis, lacrimal duct problems, burns the eyes, convulsions, incre increases blood pressure, kidney injury. And it is organic chemical for pesticides, flavors, and fragrances. Fragrances. We got fragrances all over us, and we got catechols, therefore, all over us. Okay? Flavoring agents. Oh my gosh. So you get all of that stuff 
out of fragrances and flavoring. Isn't that something? Then we have cellulose. Irritation of skin, eyes, mucous membranes. Okay, what's the next one? Straight chlorine. Burning the eyes, nose, mouth, lacrimation, rhinitis, cough, choking, subscapular pain, nausea, vomiting, headaches, dizziness, syncope, pulmonary edema, pneumonia, hypoxia, dermatitis, frostbite in liquid form. Wow, that's from chlorine. Tap water. Pool water. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, what's the next one here? Chloropicrin, chloropicrin, irritates the eye, skin, respiratory system, lacrimal ducts, cough, pulmonary edema, nausea, and vomiting. That is in it's antimicrobials, broad spectrum, fungicides, herbicides, insecticides, nematodicides. So that's all around us also. Chlorpyrifus, wheezing, laryngeal spasms, salivation, blue, bluish lips, hypoxia noxia, skin uh, problems, uh, bluish skin also, meiosis, blurred vision, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea. Um, and it says it's considered moderately hazardous. I'm looking at that and I'm going, by the World Health Organization. I'm looking at that and I'm going mildly. Uh, you got to be kidding me. And off, off screen, it's linked to neurological effects, persistent development disorders, autoimmune disorders. Uh, may harm the development of the children in the womb. It's one of the most widely used organophosphate insecticides. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so what are we doing next? Chromium compounds. Irritates the eyes, sensory, and dermatitis. Uh, manufacture of dyes and pigments. Chromium plating, leather and wood preservation. So, you got wood pr preservatives, leather. If you got anything leather, like leather belts, leather shoes, you're being exposed to it. Toner. For copying machines. Wow. Okay. Clopid, clopidol. Irritates the eyes, skin, nose, throat, and cough. It's administered to poultry to prevent the growth of path, pathologic, uh, pathogenic parasites. So this one, if you're eating a lot of chicken or turkey, you're probably being exposed to that one. Coal dust, chronic uh, bronchitis, decreased pulmonary function, emphysema. And basically they, they crush the coal before they burn it to make it burn more efficiently. So most of us around uh, the burning of coal are being um, exposed to that. Okay, this next one is, uh, I think, pretty surprising also. Copper fume. Okay, so if you have copper cookware, like the bottom of it, you got tea kettle, you're being exposed to this if you high heat it, which basically that's about the only way you do it. 
irritates the eyes, upper respiratory system, metal fume, uh, fever, chills, muscle ache, nausea, fever, dry throat, cough, lassitude, metallic or sweet taste, discoloration of the skin or hair. So from copper cookware, okay? Heating the copper cookware. Here's cotton dust. So where do you get that? Being around your dryer, you get cotton dust, right? Bisonosis. I have to look that one up. I don't even know what that is. Chest type, cough, wheeze, dyspnea, decreased FEV. Let's see what FEV is here. Forced expiratory volume, decreased forced expiratory, uh, expiratory volume, bronchitis, malaise, fever, chills, upper respiratory symptoms uh, after initial uh, exposure. Okay, now we have Crag herbicide. Irritates the eyes, skin, liver, kidney damage in animals, CNS effects, and convulsions. So this specific type of herbicide that has not been banned. Crufomate. Irritates the eyes, skin, respiratory system, wheezing, dyspnea, blurred vision, lacrimation, Sweating, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, nausea, anor, what's anor? Anorex, uh, yeah, anorexia, okay, so anorexia also. It's an insecticide, crufamate. Okay, the next one, cyanamide. Irritates the eye, skin, respiratory system, Eyes and skin burns, meiosis, salivation, lacrimation, twitching, and abuse-like effects. Whatever, whatever and abuse is. I'll have to look some of these up later. Uh, it is an organic compound, widely used in agriculture, and the production of pharmaceuticals. Wow. It's also used as an alcohol deterrent drug in Canada, Europe, and Japan. Wow. Okay, again, that's cyanamide. Cyanogen. Irritates the eyes, nose, up, upper respiratory system, lacrimal ducts. Gives you cherry red lips. Tachypnea. Hy uh, hypernia. Bradycardia. Headaches, convulsions, dizziness, loss of appetite, low weight. Uh, liquid, it uh, gives you frostbite. It's in fertilizer manufacture. Fertilizer manufacture. Cyclopentane. Irritates the eyes, skin, nose, throat, dizziness, euphoria. Uh, Inco. Let's see what Inco is. Incoordination. Okay. Nausea, vomiting, stupor, dry, and cracking skin. It is a solvent and other chemicals, including pharmaceuticals. Present gasoline, some home building supplies. Wow. Okay. Next one you will all recognize DDT. DDT, by the way, has not been banned in other countries. Even if other countries use it, we still bring the food into our country. It's only banned in our country, but we still import the food from other countries that are still using it. So you may be still exposed to it. Irritation of the eyes, skin, paresthesias of the tongue, lips, face, tremors, anxiety, dizziness, 
uh, confusion, malaise, headache, lassitude, convulsions, paresis of the hands, vomiting. It's also carcinogenic. Okay, the next one is one of a whole group which we're going to run across. Dibutyl phthalates. Hey, phthalates are in a, just a whole lot of things, uh, plastics included. You can look those up yourself. Irritation of the eyes, upper respiratory system, and stomach. Dichlor vos irritates the eyes, skin, meiosis, achy eyes, rhinitis, headaches, chest tight, wheezing, laryngeal spasm, salivation, cyanosis, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sweating, muscle, fascicles, paresthesias, dizziness, ataxia, convulsions, low blood pressure, cardiac irregularities. And that is an organophosphate uses an insecticide to control household pests. So probably every one of you have this in your house right now. Uh, banned in the uh, European Union. Okay. Dicro Dicrotophus. Headaches, nausea, dizziness, anxiety, restlessness, muscle twitch, lassitude, tremor, incoherence, vomiting, abdominal cramps, or maybe incontinence. Let me look that up. I-N-C, incoordination. Oh, I was wrong on both of them. Vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, salivation, sweat, lacrimation, rhinitis, anorexia, malaise. Okay. That is an insecticide used on cotton. So, if you're wearing cotton clothes, you're probably being exposed to it. Okay? Dieldrin. Headaches, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, malaise, sweating, myoclonic limb jerks, clonic tonic convulsions, coma, carcinogenesis in animals, liver and kidney damage. This is an insecticide. Excuse me. This is, yeah, it's an insecticide. Wow, okay. Next one you will recognize. Diesel exhaust. Eye irritation, pulmonary function changes, and it's carcinogenic. Diethyl phthalate, there's another phthalate. Irritates the eyes, skin, nose, throat, headaches, dizziness, nausea, lacrim. Lacrimation, possible polyneuritis, vestibular dysfunction, pain, numbness, lassitude, spasm in arms and legs, and animals, possible reproductive effect. That's phthalate again. Okay, difluorodibromomethane. Irritable respiratory system, CNS symptoms, liver damage. It is... Uh, used in synthesis of dyes, pharmaceuticals, quaternary ammonium compounds, and as a fire extinguishing agent. So you've all been exposed to those. I 
I'm going over these uh, specific ones because uh, if you've been exposed to it, your patients have, if they have these symptoms, you just got to start questioning them about it and get them away from that stuff. Okay, here we have another phthalate. Okay. Irritable eyes, upper respiratory system, stomach pain. Dinitolmide, contact e eczema in animals, methamo, what's methamo? Okay, let's look that up. Uh, methoglobinemia, okay. Okay, next one is dissect octal phthalate. There's another phthalate. Irritable eyes, mucous membranes, and animals, liver damage, teratogenic effects, carcinogenic. Ladies, especially, well, guys, you use it in your shop. This is the next one. I'm going to go to the E's. I think we've all been exposed to this next one. Some of us a lot. Emery. Emery boards. Emery sanders. Irrit irritation of the eye, skin, respiratory system. Influrane, Irrit irritation of the eyes, CNS depression, analgesia, uh, NS convulsions. Let's see what that NS is. Anesthesia and convulsions, respiratory depression. Okay, it's uh, it's used in anesthesia. So when you're put under, it can cause any of this stuff and then lasting things afterwards. Epichlorhydrin. Irritation of the eyes and skin with deep pain, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, respiratory distress, cough, cyanosis, reproductive effects, and it's carcinogenic. Uh, it's made in epoxy res resins, found in textiles, paper products, inks, dyes, automotive aircraft parks, parts, personal care products, personal care products. So this is in a whole lot of stuff. Ethion. Irritates the eyes and skin, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, salivation, Headaches, dizziness, lassitude, rhinitis, chest type, blurred vision, meiosis, cardiac irregularities, uh, muscle uh, fasciculitis, dyspnea. It is an organophosphate pesticide, mainly on citrus trees, also on cotton fruit, nut trees, and some vegetables. Ethyl acetate irritates the eye, skin, nose, throat. Narco, probably narcolepsy. Let's look that up. Narcosis, okay. <clears throat> Dermatitis. Uh, it is used in glues, nail polish removers, and the decaffeination process of tea and coffee. So if you're into decaffeination, you're going to be exposed to it using nail polish used in glues, so probably all of us have been exposed to that. Ethyl alcohol, we're all familiar with that one. Irritates the eyes, skin, nose, head, drowsiness, lassitude, narcosis, cough, liver damage, anemia, reproductive effects, teratogenic effects. Ethylamine. Irritates the eye, skin, respiratory system, skin burns, dermatitis. That is 
in ammonia agriculture applications used in production of herbicides. Ethyl chloride. Eco inebri. Wow, what is that? That's a big word. I N C O. In coordination. Inebri. Inebriation. Wow, it makes you like you're drunk and you're incoordinated. Abdominal cramps, cardiac arrhythmia, cardiac arrest, liver and kidney damage. It's used to ease pain from muscle and sports injuries and to numb an area of the skin before a procedure. Wow, so probably all of us have done that and some people a lot. Topical anesthetic, that's correct. Okay. Ethylene glycol. Irritates the eyes, skin, nose, throat, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain, last two dizziness, stupor, convulsion, CNS, depression, skin sensitivity. Uses raw material in the manufacture of polyester fibers and antifreeze. Ethylene glycol. Phenomyphus, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, salivation, headaches, dizziness, lassitude, rhinitis, chest type, blurred vision, meiosis, cardiac irregularities, muscle fasciculations, dyspnea. It is used on nematodes. Used on nematodes. Sem, semsulfathione, irritation of the skin, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, salivation, headaches, dizziness, last two, rhinitis, chest type, blurred vision, meiosis, cardiac irregularity, muscle fasciculation, dyspnea. Now a lot of you take care of farmers, or you'll be running to this and talking about it with them, because a lot of this, you know, comes from all of that. So... This insecticide and nematonicide, nematodes. It's used on corn, onions, rutabagas, pineapple, bananas, sugar cane, sugar beets, peanuts, and a lot, of, a lot of other things. So this is widely used. So we've probably all been exposed to that one. Fenthion. Nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, salivation, headaches, Disney, elastitude, rhinitis, Chest type, blurred vision, meiosis, cardiac irregularities, muscle fasciculations, dyspnea, organophosphate, insecticide. Fibrous glass dust irritates the eye, skin, nose, throat, and dyspnea. Next one, fluorine. Irritates the eyes, nose, respiratory system, pharyngeal spasm, wheezing, pulmonary edema, uh, eye and skin burns, and animals, liver, kidney uh, damage. Fluorine. Okay, now the next one we're all familiar with. Formaldehyde. It's used in all preservatives, so... All your new clothes, permanent press clothes, draperies, carpets, uh, coverings for your furniture, all have formaldehyde in them. Ir irritates the eyes, nose, throat, respiratory system, lacrimal ducts, coughing, wheezing, and it's carcinogenic. I've had a few patients who moved into a new home, got new furniture, had to move out of the home because they had all those symptoms. And uh, you know, I just pointed, I pointed this out to them. They're going, oh yeah, that's it. And they had to immediately sell the home and take a, like a $30,000 loss. One of them $50,000. Okay, formalin is formaldehyde. Irritates the eyes, nose, throat, respiratory system, lacrimal, lacrimation, cough, wheezing, dermatitis, and is car carcinogenic. 
formic acid. Irritates the eyes, skin, throat, skin burns, dermatitis, lacrimation, rhinitis, cough, dyspnea, nausea. Yeah, fire retardants and on beds. You're quite right. Okay, formic acid. Simplest of the carboxylic acid. Used in pro processing textiles and leather. We've all been exposed to formic acid. Furfural. Irritates the eyes, skin, upper respiratory system, headaches, and dermatitis. It's a product of dehydration of sugars. Occurs in a variety of agriculture byproducts, including corn cobs, oat, wheat bran, and sawdust. Wheat bran. Oats, corn cobs. Well, so much for wheat bran, right? Gasoline. Irritation of the eyes, skin, mucous membrane, dermatitis, headaches, lassit lassitude, blurred vision, dizziness, slurred speech, confusion, convulsion, chemical pneumonia, possible liver kidney damage, and it's carcinogenic. Grain dust, oh, wheat and barley. So if you're grinding your own grains, you may have trouble with this. Irritation of the eyes, skin, upper respiratory system, cough, dyspnea, wheezing, asthma, bronchitis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, conjunctivitis, dermatitis, rhinitis, grain fever. Graphite. So pencils. Cough, dyspnea, black sputum, decreased pulmonary function, lung fibro fibrosis, black sputum, decreased pulmonary function. Gypsum, irritation of the eyes, skin, mucous membrane, upper respiratory system, cough, wheeze, wheezing, sneezing, and rhinitis. Sorry, went past hydrazine. Irritation of the eyes, skin, nose, throat, temporary dizziness, nausea, dermatitis.